Hey, what's going on guys? It's Nate here. And I told you guys I was going to do the MP40 pouch, uh, redo it. I made my first one out of uh, vinyl and I really didn't like the, I just really didn't like the way that it felt. I want it to be out of real leather. So <clears throat> I got me some five ounce vegetable tan leather on Amazon, a couple of them. And I'll put a link in the description. But I'm going to redo mine. I've got my other one broken down uh, so that I got the exact measurements that I need. <clears throat> and I'm going to lay it out on this and trace it out and get to cutting. And then I'll, I'll get to punching the holes and stuff. And then uh, we'll get this thing built. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy it.
So I got all the holes punched with my little nifty leather punch tool. And I've got my pieces kind of formed. That's what I was doing earlier is I was wetting them down so that I could bend it. Uh, I'm going to wet it down again here in a little bit just so that whenever I put it all together I can kind of squish it how I want it. But uh, yeah, so I've got all my holes and i got everything lined up. And I'm, what I'm doing now is I'm doing this back. This is the back of the piece. I'm doing the little straps so that whenever I get done, I I don't have to try to sew inside of this piece when it's all together. So I'm going to do these right now. So kind of a rule of thumb with leather, and I always go overboard. They say to do, you know, however, whatever the length is, you triple that. So we've got that. This is about how long I need. That's about how long the like the line of holes is. So you do three times that amount. So you triple that. So that's really all that I would need. But I always kind of do a little bit extra. I'm going to do extra right now anyway just because I have multiple uh, different spots to do. I've got to do each side of this. So <clears throat> I'm going to cut off a pretty decent size. And I'm using waxed, black waxed thread. Man, my cutter is super dull now. Okay, there we go. Just, it's just black waxed thread. I got it like Joann's Fabrics or something like that. And then I'm using just a leather sewing needle. I don't know if you can see that. So, I thread this thing. When you do leather stuff, I just kind of let it drape over the edge there. You can see it against my white shirt. So I just let it, I've probably got like, I don't know, four inches coming down. And then you just kind of, since it's waxed, you can kind of mess with it. So now it's ready to go. I'm going to start on the inside. The inside of this whole so that I can come back and tie it. And I left some on the outside so that I can use that to tie. And then you just keep going. Oops, that's the only problem with having really long string is it gets caught on everything. So, so that I already went through all of them. Now I'm going to go back the opposite. And it should end. With all of them covered, see how all the holes are covered? And now I can come back on the back side and take this and pull it tight and then cut that off and tie them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to all, to all these little straps here. There are these two straps and then I'll come back and uh, we'll start sewing the, the rest of it. All right. All right, guys, back. I got those on. You can see on the back there. These are gonna. This is the part that faces my body, so it's gonna be like this. And I did them at an angle like that, so I can put them on my. I can put them on the strap, or I can rig up some kind of strapping so that it'll hold it on my chest right there. But now we're gonna do. We're gonna start attaching this the main body to the back. So this. Right here is the main part. And so I'm going to start at the top here. I'm going to start sewing this together right here. And then I'm just going to do, I'm going to do one side. I'm going to do this side first. 
and then I'll come back and I'll probably do uh, the middle or one of the middles and then the other middle and then I'll do this other side and then I'll do these bottoms that I've got lined up there. <clears throat> I might actually do these bottoms first. I'm trying to think of which way I should, how, I'm gonna, how I want to do this. If I do those bottoms, it'll be together. That might actually be the best. However I do it, I'm, what I'm doing is on, so this is going to be the bottom here. These go together and then there's this extra piece here that I, I made the holes to where I can bend it in. I don't know if you can see that. I made the holes. So these line up right there. And then I made the holes on the end to bend in so that it'll be like this. Whenever it's in, you won't be, you won't see this in part of the leather there. It'll just be folded in. So I need to kind of crease these actually. Crease those a little bit. Might have to get it wet. Just so I can bend it a little easier. There we go. Where's that one? And that one. There we go. So now it's it's bent down a little bit. So, I need to do those bottoms, I think, first. We'll bring this down. This is what I'm talking about right here. See, it's got holes right here, and these holes on the end, the part that flaps down, it's gonna be hitting right there. It's gonna be like that. Okay. I think I got it. It almost looks like it those didn't go through. Oh they did. So I don't think I'm gonna do those. I'm gonna do those right now because they're gonna be too hard to get to. So starting on the inside. It's going to be a lot easier holding this to where you can see it whenever I get to the sides. And this part right here is just kind of, kind of a pain. Oops.
string's getting a little low. I'll give it that thing. There it is. So I got this sewed. This bottom is on there. Well, now I just gotta do the other bottoms because those are gonna be so hard to get to. And then I can start doing the sides. These bottoms are kind of a pain. <clears throat> Sorry if you can't see this, it's it's really hard to hold it so that you can see it and sew it. That's where I tie. And I'm not worried about these, like this string hanging off right there because it's going to be on the inside anyways. You're not going to, you'll never see that. <clears throat> Start on the inside. It's a good thing to remember remember when you're doing this leather stuff is start on the inside that way when you tie it you can just shove it back down in there or you won't see it Goodness, that one was a pain.
Hopefully this doesn't look like crap when I get done with it. <laughs> no, I think it'll look fine, actually. It'll look better than that one I made out of vinyl. I'm going to dye it and everything, too. I'll show you a little trick I use for the... I don't know what you call them. The clasping... The mechanisms, or not really mechanism, but the piece of metal that you used for the... There's a flap that goes right on top of this that I'm going to sew in a minute. That comes down a little ways down to here or so but it goes over this little piece of metal and that's what holds the flap on there <clears throat> well if you use you can use the chicago screws instead of using the you know the flathead side you flip them around and you've got just a, a piece of metal there it looks like something that would hold the flap <coughs> So, got the ends, got the ends sewed on there. Now it's time to, I think I'm going to do the middles. That way it's not so much of a pain to it's not flapping around like this. So, we'll do the whole, we're going to do three times the amount here. So there's one, two, three. I'm going to go a little a little further because it's better if you run out of you have to tie off in there and I, I just don't want to do that it's better to have too much than too little and so I am going to start where am I going to start this Where am I going to start it? I could just start it on the back. You're never going to see that. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to start on the on the inside of the, the bottom. So I'm going to go through this hole. Just I just went through the... Can you see that? Just on the inside of the back part, I'm going on that hole. And then I'll leave some extra there hanging out so that I can tie it and then I can just shove it down in there. I'm going to sew these middles and then I'll come back and we'll do the sides. All right.
Okay guys, so I did the edges and the bottoms. I messed up right there. I went through that hole right there, so I just, once I dye it black, you won't even see it. It did kind of aggravate me though. So I did the other side and this side, and I did my first little lasp or clasp there, <clears throat> just a little thin piece of rubber. But I got all the other ones cut out too. I just need to attach those. And so it's starting to actually look like a uh, MP40 pouch now. Or MP40 mag pouch. I'm going to get these other things sewed on there. Alright guys. I've got it just about wrapped up here. I didn't take into account these little straps right here to hold the the main strap down. So what I had to do was go back and remove those middle sewn lines. Uh, I've already sewn one back, but I've got to do the other one. Uh, so I had to go back and do that, and then I put a piece of wood. I just slid like a piece of walnut in here and then smacked these holes in and then sewed these little things on there. But that's, <laughs> you live and you learn, I guess. I haven't made one of these in a while. The last one I did was that, that one out of the vinyl, and uh, I just was kind of rushing through it. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much it right there. I mean, it turned out really nice. It's vegetable tan leather. Cost me about 28, yeah, 28 bucks in leather. Um, the Chicago screws, these are the Chicago screws right here. And what I did is I just poked a hole with this bad boy right here all the way through exactly where I wanted it. Stuck the Chicago screw through, put the, the flathead part on the inside and then screwed it down and then made a little slit in the leather right there. Um, just like a normal, I mean, it's just like a mag pouch. It's just like a regular genuine mag pouch right now. Like I can take it, I can take this off. I can take this off. I can put a mag in there. Close that back up. Put this back on there. Just like show. And it's back. So, anyways, if you want the measurements for these, if you want to make your own, let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll, I'll figure out a little diagram with measurements and everything for you. Uh, I didn't I didn't do that for myself. I just kind of went off of my what I did last time with that vinyl. But yeah, let me know if you want if you want to uh, make your own. I mean I could have bought my I could have bought one. Uh, there's a company I think out of China. I've seen them on a few websites and they're like uh, I think they're around 60 60 bucks or. 40 something bucks, but sometimes it's, I just like making this stuff myself. I mean, especially if it's something as cool as this Death Trooper costume is going to be. Uh, like, I want this to be awesome, and I want it to be real leather and smell like leather. Um, anyways, I think it turned out really good, and once I wet it down and form it, and I'll probably wet it down a little bit tonight, and then let it uh, just set it on with some like something wedged against it so it stays like this and tomorrow I mean this leather will be like just stiff just like this but anyways let me know if you want the measurements in the comments and if you haven't already subscribe I've got more stuff coming uh, hopefully I can do more stuff like this with leather I, I really like working with leather so uh, anyways guys stay tuned uh, next time I'm going to come back we're going to dye this uh, all black, all black. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Probably gonna dye it, and then I'm, I think I'm gonna wax it too. Uh, but anyways, y'all stay tuned. Y'all have a good night. Bye bye.